What's up everybody? I hope all is well with you guys on this blessed day, blessed day, wonderful day, Thursday. This is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Holly, holly. How you guys been doing on this blessed day, Thursday? I hope all is well with you guys on today. Listen, a quick reminder. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Standard, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. The Women on Fire last day prayer life conference is tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, 7 p.m. Central Standard. We're going to have a young woman of God named Kiria Williams. She's going to bring it, y'all. She's going to bring it. I can't wait. Do you hear me? Um, it's not going to be long at all. It's going to be about 40 minutes, if that. And she's going to give the word, and she's going to pray for people. It's going to be on point, I promise you. Um, it has been lit throughout the whole month. Um, the very first go around, you know, it was a learning curve for me, but eventually we got it together and it was lit. All right. So to God be the glory. I take now one inch of a credit, but God gets the glory. So tomorrow we're going to end the Women on Fire Prayer Life Conference with Kyria. So please come out and support your girls, support the ministry, support everything that we do all right it will mean a lot to your girl moi <laughs> all right um as you guys know my my ministry name now is women on fire ministries god has given given me that name so it's all to god be the glory but yeah guys tomorrow we end the women on fire prayer life conference so please make sure you come out and support carry and support me as well and just show show up log on to zoom um i will post the information in the comment section so you guys can have that available um so that you guys can log on or what have you but yeah guys so i pray that you are having a blessed day wonderful day thursday and it's to god be the glory for all that he has done peace out what's up everybody i hope all is well with you guys on today it is friday can you believe it y'all time has went for real for real it is friday and also i just want to remind you guys tonight around 7 p.m eastern standard no excuse me 7 p.m central standard 8 p.m eastern standard the women on fire last night prayer live conference will be on zoom y'all know last friday i did it on live on tiktok but it's going back to zoom today only so it's 7 p.m central standard 8 p.m eastern standard but yeah guys it is 103 I'm about to head to the park because I didn't go to the park the other day. I actually stayed in the house. So I'm about to head to the park uh, today. One of my talk to the Lord too because I don't know what he want me to read in the Bible. I had just got done reading um, Habakkuk. And you know, it's only like three chapters in that. Lord, be with me so I go to and from my destination. And we just pray, man. Y'all, I pray every time I get behind this wheel. So, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know what he wants me to read. So, I had looked at a couple of sermons. Uh, a couple of videos, rather. Um, of testimonies and things like that. But, he still didn't reveal to me what it is that he wants to speak to me about in regards to the word like what is it you know so yeah guys hold on guys let me whistle to my but yeah y'all so like I said now I'm about to head to the park I pray that you guys are having a blessed day wonderful day Friday
and I pray that your day is blessed. Remember to speak positivity over your day. Pray over your day and different things like that. Um, but honestly, as of for right now, I really don't know what more to say to you guys, but to say I love you guys so much. Um, my nose. I love you guys so much. And yeah, so I actually know that while I'm out, I do need to go pick up my prescription, my Majoro. I do need to go pick that up. So I was wondering why you just stopped right there. So I better go pick up my Majoro right quick. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace out. What's up, everybody? I hope all is well with you guys on this blessed day. Wonderful day. Outstanding day. Friday. So, listen. This is how you know when God is in the business, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I come to the park, and I come to where I always come to. Now, mind you, it is a park, right? But this is the place where I talk to God more, all right? This is the place where, you know, I get intimate with the Lord and different things like that. So, there was a lesbian couple that was sitting right here. Let me show you guys. Wait a minute. There was a lesbian cu couple sitting right there, right? And so, I began to pray to the Lord. I said, Lord, I said, I know this is a part. I said, but I want to talk to you. I want to become more intimate with you to remove them from over here, right? So, me and Sadie, hold on so you can see my face. You can't tell me God is not intentional. You cannot tell me that God is not intentional. So, listen, when you are surrounded by people who you should not be around with, right, God will remove them away from you, just so you know. And so, that was my prayer, that, Lord, that you will remove them so that I can have my personal time with you or whatnot. Next thing I know, I see them packing up their stuff and they're leaving because at this point, they don't want to get delivered. So I intentionally put on a sermon that talked about wickedness on purpose and they ended up leaving. <laughs> oh, Holy Ghost, help me. So now they left or whatnot. So yeah, that was my because I was about to minister to them, no lie. I was about to ask them if they know who Jesus is. But then after I played um, I played that sermon, they had already started packing up their things or whatnot. So, yeah. What's up, everybody? I hope all is well. Welcome to Women on Fire Ministry, the place where we love on our single women. We motivate, encourage, uplift, and also talk about God in everyday life. To God be the glory. Right? Say amen. Say amen. Yeah, I got saved right here. We at the park um, or where have you. And so I came here really to talk to God about certain things and i came here also to walk her um because this is how we get our daily exercise in through this park that i tend to come to almost daily go sadie go go and so yeah and so i asked the lord some things so i was waiting on him to respond to something like concerning certain things and so forth but yeah guys how you guys doing one today don't forget the Women on Fire Prayer Live Conference 
uh, ends today. Um, it's 7 p.m. Central Standard, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. So please show up and show out for Kiria. She's going to bring forth the word. And she's going to be praying as well. So yes, it's to God be the glory for all that he has done. It's only going to be for like 40 minutes. So it's not going to be long at all. So come on Zoom. Um, the information will be posted in the description setting as well. All right, to God be the glory. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, I really don't know what else to say today. To be completely honest, um, I did ask the Lord. You know, what is it He want me to read in His Scripture? Like, what is it You want me to read? Because at first He had gave me the Book of Habakkuk, and I finished reading that, and so forth. So it was only like three chapters in that one. So it really didn't take me long to read that, honestly. It really took me like two days to read that. And so now I'm just like waiting on what else does he want me to read? What is it that he wants me to know? And so, yeah, I'm still waiting because I haven't read my word today because I don't know what he wants me to read. So that was another reason why I came out here too, to see if the Lord would speak to me um, and so forth. Because something about this park, like literally he, he talks to me out here i mean he talks to me at home too don't get me wrong y'all just saying but you just out here i just be at more peace i be at peace at home too but you just something about out here and so yeah so that's what i uh, been waiting on him to do is respond to me in regards to what is it he want me to know through his word um today so i haven't heard anything yet so we're going to see hopefully by the time i get home he'll reveal what book of the bible he wants me in and whatever book that is i'm quite sure it's something that he wants me to know concerning my life so yeah um a couple of things well one two three three things actually that actually took place today was one um I just, you know, how you go through things in life or whatnot. And a lot of times you don't share it. You just really keep it between you and God and so forth. But today, I don't know why. I just felt the need to share uh, certain things that uh, I experienced in life. And it, I must say it felt good to do that. Because honestly, I have never, never <laughs> uh, said anything concerning that particular matter in my life before so i thought that was good you know but i can guess I, i'm gonna go on and tell you guys as well um but yeah um uh, you know i could tell you guys I, i'm gonna tell you guys everything at a on another video not this one so i got you we're gonna have a girl chat girl chat one-on-one -on -one or whatnot but this video is something that i did learn today one i learned um that it feels good to share your testimony about things that you encounter in life it feels good especially you know when you have never told anybody about certain things before and so forth so it felt good to do that um two you know the enemy hates when you testify or when you expose him in any kind of way the enemy hates that the enemy hates it like today i experienced um some type of confusion you know don't worry about where but it was some type of confusion and it was so funny because i've been sensing confusion you know off and on for the past few hours so i didn't understand why i was feeling like that so i just kind of ignored it and not think about it until um earlier or whatnot and i was like oh this is where this came from or whatnot but either way i began to rebuke that devil because we know that God is not the author of confusion. There is nothing that is confuting with God. God does not confuse people. You see what I'm saying? So he's not the author of it. It may be some things that he does that we don't understand, but God is not the author of confusion. He don't start confusion amongst things. And so I knew then that the enemy was trying to attack me through a certain place or whatnot and so i was like yeah devil you just upset because i began to expose some stuff but anyway um the third thing that i learned today as well is that when you are truly 
rooted in God. When you are, when you truly have a connection with Jesus Christ and you truly have that love for him and he truly have love for you and you are living the way you are supposed to live with God, things that is wicked cannot remain around you. We are not remain around you. And so today I experienced that, right? As you guys seen the clip um, of that was a lesbian couple there. And I always go to this very spot or whatnot to talk to God and different things like that. Like I said, it's just something about the area. I don't know. And at first I was like, you know, I asked the Lord, you know what I'm saying, to remove them so that I can have my personal moment with you because this is the place where you seem to deal with me the most or whatnot. And so I ain't think nothing about it. And so I'm at the park on a table, well, on the bench with Sadie, letting Sadie do what she do. And I just began, they was playing their music and I was playing, you know, my music on my phone, my gospel music on my phone or whatnot. And so then that was a part of me was like, to minister to them, you know what I'm saying? To see uh, if they know who Jesus is and different things like that, right? And so, and you know I me, mean, you got to work with, this is one thing the Lord has taught me over the past few weeks. You have to be sober and vigilant. Vigilant means to be cautious and alert because you don't know these people, right? And so, I had to work with wisdom. And so, as I was asking the Lord to remove them so that I could have my intimate moment with him or whatnot, I thought about ministering too to them as well. And so with me, you know, I have to, I got to feel late. I have to, I don't just go up to people like that because again, you got to operate with wisdom. You don't know who these people are. You don't know what type of crazy they have. So, you know, I wasn't going to just automatically go over there and be like, hey, do you know who Jesus is? Now, some people may do that. I ain't that bold like that, okay? I got to be vigilant and cautious, especially with what I have encountered before. Yeah, no, that's just not me. So I have to be vigilant and cautious and also be, you know what I'm saying, be able to hear God when he say, okay, you can do this or we're not. And so, I, cause I, I ain't going to lie to you because at first I was going to do it. But then I started playing my gospel music. You know, gospel music get me into the anointing and different things like that. And so then I started playing uh, a sermon from Pastor Kevin Ewing um, about wickedness and so forth. Because every, I love that man. Oh my God, that man, that man of God is anointed. I love all of his messages, for real, for real. So I was playing that. And next thing I know, I looked around. They was packing up their things, getting ready to go. But, you know, had they would have stayed there a little longer, though, I would have definitely went out there to to minister to them or whatnot. But their spirit, that spirit, that spirit that they had on them, that lesbian spirit, that homosexuality spirit, that spirit knew what I was going to eventually do. I may not did it right then and there, you know what I'm saying? But eventually I was going to do that and that spirit let them know, it. nah, go on, get up. She about to talk to y'all about God and all this other stuff. They left, they did. But what I'm saying is that when you are truly rooted in God, truly rooted in God, there is nothing that the enemy can do. The weapon can form, but it will not prosper. Um, and people that got that, people that has, um, you know, certain evil spirits and whatnot, they won't be able to, to be around you like that because the God in you overshadows the darkness in them. You see what I'm saying? So I, I learned that today as well. Hey, say the way to woo. My Yorkie over here by me, by, over here by me y'all. But hey, Sadie. Hey, mommy, baby. But yeah, I learned that today. Um, so, God has been showing himself mighty for sure. God has indeed been showing himself mighty. Um, 
But yeah, I learned that today. So in that clip that you saw, I was laughing because I knew that they weren't gonna be there like that for long because of who they are or whatnot and because of who I am. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. And so on the video, on the clip that you're gonna see in a moment, that's what that was. That's why I was laughing. I was like, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, listen, when you are doing the things in the work of God, you're going to have the enemy to try to start up some stuff. Just begin to ignore, rebuke in the name of Jesus. And you just keep focused. Keep focused. Um, But yeah, guys, like I said, I really don't have that much to say today um hmm i see you guys enjoyed the apartment tour so i'm going to do another apartment tour um next month in september of course i'm gonna take you guys along with me like i did the first one um out of the three that you guys saw on that video like the third one i like the third one for sure because it did have everything i liked what I didn't like, though, was the fact that they had a lot of steps. And my brother, he cannot go up all those steps like that. So I had to ask them if they had, like, first floor level. If so, then yeah. But then I started to think about people on top of me and things like that. Because I get enough of people being on top of me because of the noises, right, that uh, they make and stuff like that. Like, even right now, currently... Uh, my neighbors are very loud, like loud, loud. And I'm like, do I even want to go through all that again? So I'm kind of leaning more towards the second, the second apartment that you guys saw that looks like a house or whatnot because I'm not on top of nobody and I don't have to worry about nobody uh, making noises and different things like that. And they said that that place is well, uh, if I'm saying it's well insulated, where you can't hear noises from the neighbors and different things like that. So that was a plus. And then I thought about the garage. The garage comes with it. And so it's a two car garage that both cars can go in there and things like that. So like if I have to bring groceries and stuff, I don't have to worry about carrying bags up and down steps and things like that. I can just bag in the garage and the door to go into my, my place is right there. So, I'm kind of leaning more towards that one, but again, I'm going to be going apartment touring some more next month. It's just I wrote down, you know, the name of those apartments on the on my favorite list. So when it's time for me to pray over which one God wants me to do, that I have an understanding and the name of the place that I want to be at um, or whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another apartment tour soon. So you guys stay tuned also there's going to be another video that i do as well that is going to be very special to me and i want to share with you guys and so yeah i can't wait to do that one um as well um if you haven't seen the spiritual court one make sure you go check that one out as well i'm going to post that right here too so that you guys can get a glimpse of it all right guys i love you don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button. All right, peace out. Guys, on today, I hope all is well with you guys. Listen, reminder, reminder, reminder. Tonight is the last night for the Women on Fire prayer con conference on Zoom. Tonight, it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, 7 p.m. Central Standard. You don't want to miss it. I have Kerria Williams who's going to be bringing forth the word of God and she's going to be praying. It's only for 40 minutes. So come on and just embrace the presence of God and just get what you need in Jesus' name. However, I am now, of course, in my car because I just, well, hang on. I haven't left the park yet. I'm about to leave the park. But I came to the park today because I didn't go yesterday. You know, I didn't go yesterday, so I ended up coming today to talk to the Lord about certain things and uh, to ask God, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it he wants me to know today? Uh, what, what book in the Bible do you want me to read today? Because I just got done reading Habakkuk because that's what he wanted me to read. Well, that's only a three chapters, so it didn't take me no, no more than like two days, really, to read that. And so... 
also with scripture i make prayer points out of it too that's just how god gifted me to be able to apply what i read to my life or whatnot but it was a couple of things today that i experienced um one you know i actually felt uh compelled to talk about some things that um occurred in my life um many many years ago and different things which i'm going to talk about that in another setting or whatnot and two I learned today that when people have a spirit of wickedness on them and you are truly rooted and booted in Christ like that, that they will not be around you. Um, case in point today, there was a lesbian couple um, that was in the area where I always go and pray and talk or whatnot. And I'm going to insert a little clip here. But I sat there on the bench because that's usually where I start my talking with God and then I work, then I walk my way around and start pacing and praying and so forth. Well, you know, there was a lesbian couple in, lesbian couple there uh, that was having a picnic, I guess. They was trying to get romantic, but I stopped the process when I came up over there or uh, whatnot. And so I had asked the Lord originally if he could remove them so that I can have my personal time with him right and so but then at the same time part of me wants to minister to them too but you guys know what the lord told me to be vigilant right and so i was like because you don't know these people these people can have a new type of crazy you don't know so i ain't the one to just go up to people and be like hey blah 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 you know what i'm saying unless the holy spirit uh, you know unctions me to do that then yeah i will but he didn't do that to me today or whatnot so i wasn't just gonna walk up there and ask but i ended up started playing my gospel music or whatnot and then i started playing this sermon from pastor kevin uring on wickedness right and next thing i know they was packing up their stuff to go they walked off or whatnot because they couldn't have their romantic picnic like they wanted to because i stopped the process or what now what am i saying to you and i thought i ain't gonna laugh for a brief moment i laughed because i was like yeah that spirit i already knew that that homosexual spirit i already knew that eventually i was going to talk to them about god and so yeah they packed up their stuff so quick and they left or whatnot and so this is one thing that i learned too when you are truly in relationship with christ where you are truly in covenant with Christ, wickedness cannot stay around you long. Cannot stay around you long. Because the, the light of God that's on the inside of you, it will overshadow the dark the darkness of that person um spirit or whatnot. And that light, the light of God is so bright that it would be able to shine up on every dark area of a person's life just because you walked in their area like if they are having a dark moment or they having um dark some type of darkness in their life because of the light of god that is on you it will overpower that and it it will begin to reveal things or whatnot and so you okay sadie you over there panting Come on. Welcome over here. Come on. She looking at me like, Mom, I was comfortable. But yeah, guys. And so, and for a brief moment, I ain't gonna lie, I did laugh because I was like, yeah, that those, those spirits knew that I was going to eventually talk to them. But they was, but yeah, God had already removed them or whatnot. So I was like, oh well so i ended up talking to the lord for a moment then i ended up walking and pacing and praying at the same time you know i do that i walk and i pace and so yeah and when i did that i also noticed um the enemy was trying to attack by um using the spirit of confusion uh amongst um, some you know or whatnot, and so I was like, the devil is a lie. We know God is not the author of confusion. So anytime you do things for the Lord, 
And anytime you have a close-knit relationship with the Lord, things like that will happen. But you just got to stay focused and prayed up. Stay focused and prayed up. And I promise you, everything else will work together for your good. But yeah, guys, I hope you in, enjoy this blessed day, wonderful day, Friday. Your girl is about to go home. So hopefully by the time I get home, the Lord will reveal to me what book in the Bible he wants me to study. Because as of yet, I still don't know. And they're just me being completely honest. I don't know. But yeah, guys, so stay tuned. And I will be uh, doing another video as well, right? Peace out. What's up, everybody? I hope all is well with you guys on this blessed day wonderful day outstanding day friday so listen this is how you know when god is in the business right <laughs> oh gosh so i come to the park and i come to where i always come to now mind you it is a park right but this is the place where i talk to god more right this is a place where you know i get intimate with the Lord and different things like that so there was a lesbian couple that was sitting right here let me show you guys wait a minute there was a lesbian cu couple sitting right there right and so I began to pray to the Lord I said Lord I said I know this is a part I said but I want to talk to you I want to become more intimate with you to remove them from over here right so me and Sadie hold on so you can see my face you can't tell me God is not intentional. You cannot tell me that God is not intentional. So listen, when you are surrounded by people who you should not be around with, right? God will remove them away from you, just so you know. And so that was my prayer, that Lord, that you will remove them so that I can have my personal time with you or whatnot. Next thing I know, I see them packing up their stuff and they're leaving because at this point, they don't want to get delivered. So I intentionally put on a sermon that talked about wickedness on purpose and they ended up leaving. <laughs> oh, Holy Ghost, help me. So now they left overnight. So yeah, that was my because I was about to minister to them, no lie. I was about to ask them if they know who Jesus is. But then after I played um, I played that sermon, they had already started packing up their things or whatnot. So, yeah.